Welcome in the kitchen. I'm getting supper started. And I'm in a hurry. And so we're having burritos. I've got my tortillas over here thawing out. They've been in the freezer. I've got my peppers and my onion in my skillet here for my rice, my burritos, and my sauce. Um, I'm gonna get me out some butter here. Y'all just gonna have to wander around with me tonight because that's this. I'm in a hurry and I didn't have time to jump around and grab everything out. And so y'all just gonna have to sit back and relax and watch as I get this supper together. I'll tell you what I'm doing. Four tablespoons of butter right in this pot for our rice. You all have seen me do this rice before. I'm going to throw me two cups of rice right in here. There's a half. There's one, one and a half. That's all I'm going to do. That's plenty. One and a half cups of rice. That means I need three cups of liquid. Y'all remember that. Three cups of liquid. I'm going to run in here to this back pantry and get me some chicken broth. This is my last small can. Y'all remember that. Tell me, put it on my list, okay? We need three cups of liquid. This is a four. That one's got a hole in it. Let me grab this one. I need three cups of liquid. That's two cups. Let me grab a cup of water. Deal with the watch. No, we can't watch right now. They're not playing yet. Do you want to watch baseball YouTube TV? They're not playing yet. You can when they play. Do you want to watch baseball YouTube TV? All right. Now then. Do you want to watch do you want to watch softball YouTube TV? No. Do you want to watch softball YouTube TV? No. Go back and sit down. All right, here's my ground meat. Got it. Do you want to go to the softball game? Pepper. Do you have a baseball game? And salt, Do you our vegetables. Baseball game? Honey, they're not playing yet. Do you want to go to softball game? They're not playing yet. We gotta wait for them to play. E They'll be playing in a few weeks and we'll go, okay? Yay! This boy loves baseball and softball better than anything. It's just one of his all-time favorites. What I'm doing here, y'all see me do this before. When they play, I'm cooking all the water out of these vegetables right here, these onion and peppers. And that's all I use in this. I don't add celery, and I know that's odd. Y'all are going, she's not putting celery in it. No, not in this. Let's see, I'm gonna scrunch y'all down just a little bit. Y'all still see, gotta get out our tomato powder. Deal with the All right, can y'all see in my skillets and my pots? Deal with the gyoza, Cincinnati gray. Honey, when they play, they're not playing yet. They don't play for a few more weeks. Deal with the gyoza, 
Hey, they're not playing either. All right, this is all cut down, y'all can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of that right over in there. Actually, I'm gonna throw a little more in here, onions and peppers. Turned it off because I don't think that's enough. Ah, uh, there we go. Deal with the Galadus Sense and Naughty Brains. Alright, there we go. Let's get some more onions in there. We like onions. Alright. All this in here cooking. Get it ever so happy. And y'all know I shouldn't have put that those vegetables in there quite yet. But... I'm in a hurry tonight, y'all. Let this cook down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna throw with some hamburger meat in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of this out once it gets sauteed because I'm gonna put my sauce in there. All right, we got us a bowl back there. Guess it'd help if I turned the eye back on, wouldn't it? Might cook a little better, wouldn't it? Y'all, I'm in a hurry. I'm in a hurry. More pepper. All right, I believe this is ready. We can add our broth. Turn it down. And throw our lid on it. All right, there's that. Y'all can add beef broth to this if that's what you want. I just usually use chicken. Because my beef broth's in those big boxes. And I'm going to throw a good helping of that across the top of it. Put that lid on it. Turn it down on low. Or medium low. Then our rice will be done and ready. Alright, get these vegetables right here cooked up just a little bit more. Put this over here in the sink to be washed. I've got more dirty dishes today, you all. I've been making videos all day. Y'all will see them all, I promise. Um, I made y'all five videos today. This is number five. So I'm pooped. And it's almost seven o'clock. It's probably after seven o'clock. It is 7.04. The time has changed and it's just really got me all in a tizzy because I can't remember. I'm thinking it's 6.04 and it's 7.04. Last night we didn't eat supper till really late because but I do love it being daylight at 7 o'clock, you all. I really do. And we do eat later in the summertime. We do. Alright. I've got to shred up our cheese over here in just a minute. Let me go ahead and see if I can get it out. I don't think I even got it out of the refrigerator. I didn't. This is what I use right here. I'm going to throw it in this food processor and shred it up. Actually, I think I'll do this manually if I can find my... Here it is. I'm just going to do it right here in this... All right, those are about to cook down, aren't they? We don't have time for dilly-dally tonight, y'all. I'm in a hurry. I'm in a big old hurry. I just don't have to wash that food processor. I know y'all can't see me. All right. Uh-oh. And this thing right here will just land right in the dishwasher. I know y'all can't see what I'm doing. I'm grating up this cheese. All right, there's our vegetables. Let me throw some of those back here. 
All right, now then I'm gonna throw this in some burger. Right like this. Now this is a quick, easy supper. It really is, especially if you do like I'm doing tonight and not making everything from scratch. And I do if I've got time and I've not done everything else all day. I'll do some, I'll make y'all some flour tortillas and do all that. But somebody gave me a big pack of tortillas and we've been using them because we do not want them to go to waste. All right, I'm going to add some salt. Throw that over there since I had burger on my hands. Get all this browned up good. I don't know what all y'all put in yours. I'm going to add some more seasonings here in just a minute. I want to get this cheese done. I should have gotten out the food processor. I'm going to turn y'all back around there. Y'all watch this meat on the stove cook for me. Don't let it burn now. Y'all might need to stir it a little bit. Okay, there's our cheese. And let me wash my hands off again good. I don't know how many dish towels I've used today, y'all, but it's been a bunch. I'm going to have to put some in the washing machine here in a few minutes. Yes, I am. Gotta get something out of the oven here. All right, now then, that should be enough things to keep from burning my countertop. Oh, and it's just about burn up, but it's all right. There we go. I don't think this is going to be quite enough burger. So I'm just going to put the whole thing in there. looking for buddy what are you looking for can mama help you find something yes what are you looking for yes just a yes yes Okay, y'all, can y'all see down in my dish? Y'all are getting odd angles on stuff right now, but. All right, I've just got a can of red enchilada sauce. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. It's a big can. Probably will not use all of it, but I'm gonna put some right there in the bottom. Just enough to cover. Cover that. Just like that. <laughs> Into this meat. 
Since I've washed my hands, I'm going to add some paprika. Onion powder. I don't think you can ever have too many onions. And a little bit of cumin. Now it really smells like Mexican, doesn't it? Get that cumin in there and it's really coming together. You know you all can use a pack of taco seasoning. You could use a... You don't have to use any seasoning at all in it. Um, you can use corn tortillas and make enchiladas. We like the flour ones, so that turns them into burritos or so. I've been told that that's the only difference. I don't know what the actual difference is. Turn my oven down to 400. Then let me get me a pot here. I'm going to heat up some of those beans. Some of those refried beans. Just going to wash this pot real fast. Because then if I wash it now, and wash, then I've still got same amount of dishes to wash after supper. I don't know what you're looking for. I would find it if I knew, but I don't know what you're looking for. You need to tell me what is it you want. What do you want? You need a block. Okay. Block. All right, let Mama see if she can find you one. Let me think a minute, buddy. Yes. We've got some somewhere. There you go. All right, y'all watching this meat cook? Look at all that juice. That's not all grease, y'all. Some of it is, but not all of it. That's some of your flavors. All right, let me pop these back here on this aisle. These have thawed out, I'm sure, sitting there on that hot stove. Yes, they're thawed out very nicely. Turn these on. All right, now then, can y'all see me? I don't know if you can or not. I honestly do not have a clue whether y'all can see. I think you can see if I hold it right over here. This is hot, hot, hot. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to scoop up some beef. 
just like this. And I just roll mine once. I don't try to encase them, you know, on the ends. I just roll them like this and flip them over just like that. And I like to fill mine pretty full. Whoops, get back in there. And I'm gonna do six. I hope I can get all six in that dish. I may end up just doing four, just making them real fat. Because I'm making them fat, y'all. That's hot, too. Scoot them up there to get them. Maybe I can get all six in there. Maybe five. I want it, but one that gives two a piece for the boys. Turn that down. Y'all, refried beans are really easy to make, too. But like I said, this is tonight is... Easy peasy night for a Mexican Monday. A friend of mine said they always have Mexican Monday instead of Taco Tuesday. So, so in honor of them, we're having Mexican Monday tonight. Mm, that's hot. I'm going to go ahead and close that one up. Pop him in there and the rest of this meat. I'm going to put right here on the end. And then I'm going to rinse out this skillet or scoop out the fat, let's just say, because I don't want that in my sauce. Okay. Take this over here and dump it in the trash all righty now then let's see us back in there go those vegetables here goes some sauce we're just gonna stir all that around till it's just so happy see how happy that is all that sauce and I'm gonna pour it right over top here just like this mm. all right now then let's get our cheese here we go this is our seriously sharp white cheddar cheese right over all the top of this There we go. I'll throw some of these chunks in there. That piece I'll hang on to. I'll eat it with a cracker or something. All right, right into this 400 degree oven until they are all nice and bubbly, hot and happy, happy. In the meantime, let's see what I can do with this big old chunk of beans here. Right like that. You know I have mixed my beans in with my meat. That's good too. But that's not... It's not what I want to do tonight. Look at this rice. And this rice is so ever happy and lovely. And I'm going to turn it off because it's done. I'm going to taste it and see if it needs any salt or pepper or seasonings of any kind. Mm. 
I think it could use a little bit of salt. And that's all. And I'm going to add just a little more butter because I had the other half of this stick of butter. I think I shall just add it right in there. Just like that and let it melt down on the top. Okie doke, folks. There you go. There's our enchiladas, our burritos. Burritos with enchilada sauce. And there's our rice. You've seen me make that before. And our refried beans. That's our supper. And I told y'all I was running late. And I had to whip it up in a hurry. And I did. I've been washing dishes and things while this has been in the oven. So we're going to go over here and eat. Remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell for notifications. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.